doing to Miss Johnson? How are you doing today? Oh. What's up, Brother Kwame? We're going to get started. Um, uh, excuse the change in scenery and the lighting. I must apologize. I don't think that's better. Um, nah, that's not better. Put the hat back on. I had to change soon because I had, we got to get the house ready. Um, but anyway, we about to do our toast. Uh, great rising to you as well. Um, I want to thank y'all for tuning in. I ain't going to be able to pop no ambrosia today because my fast has switched to just water now. So, we on day 15 and we... Still alive. And now, for the next four days, it's just water. So, we're going to drink our, drink our water. First, bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. Them out. Uh, great emoji, brother Kwame. Um, for those that are interested, there is a Kwanzaa, a citywide Kwanzaa meeting coming up. Um, um, it's uh, being organized by the Kwanzaa committee. Um, Sister Jill wanted to start about six months early, and she on it, right? Because we need to start educating people about the power of Kwanzaa how we can start using Kwanzaa like we've been doing since last Kwanzaa. It's crazy. How, how fast time is going and how we can utilize Kwanzaa as a tool to to really, really start moving um, our people to where we need to be. Um, so uh, I think the meeting is on Kuji Chagalia for those who don't, who don't, who don't speak, don't speak that Kwanzaa language. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to figure that out because I'm tired. I don't want to do no push-ups. I just had to describe somebody invited me to a birthday party and they gave me a date and I had to say, is that such and such? And I had to drop down and do some push-ups. My arms are sore because I, I am exploring different styles of push-up in my workout. Um, and plus it ain't, it's not that easy with my neck and, and, and you know, but it's, it's all good. So first, drink up that water, fam. Water is a great way to start your day. Those in that initial ashe, along with that breath. Clear them lungs out. Come on. Because the ultimate libation is taking care of your body. Let me tell you. Um, I'm, it's becoming clearer and clearer to me every day. The ultimate libation is pouring into your body. A lot of us might need to stop spending a lot of time pouring out and start pouring in, right? Yeah. I'm going to do one more. water shopping. I never thought I'd say that. I gotta go water shopping. And I'm looking up different recipe recipes to start learning how to cook different things for my kids. Um, like I said, man, because it's like, you know, health is wealth. You know what I'm saying? Long time, you know. And, and it's unfortunate that I didn't really start coming to this until like almost, I'm almost 50 years old. So, only way that I'm going to change this pattern in my family is to start helping my kids find their way now. So that's what we're doing. That's what we're working on. That's what we're building on. Right, fam? You know what I'm saying? So um, today on the show, we're going to be talking about, yesterday we talked about fermenting. And um, a, a thought came to me in the morning yesterday um, that I shared yesterday. And I, I want to stress this. 
I've been doing all this research on the microbiome and a lot of the diseases that um, come from not properly taking care of your microbiome. And you start, we start running across a lot of these diseases that they are finding correlations. Now, just correlations, what do I mean? Correlations, but not they're not direct causes. You can't prove that they're direct causes yet, right? Because they don't have the scientific evidence. Now, I want a lot of y'all to understand this. One of the reasons I ran off with stuff is because what you find out is that it doesn't benefit certain industries to really get the research done to prove that some of these diseases are caused by certain things like the lack of water or the lack of salt, right? Or the the um, the the lack of probiotics in your system, an unhealthy gut. It doesn't pay. It doesn't pay science to come up with cures for shit. I want y'all to understand that. This is why when you go to the doctor, one of the things that you need to ask when they give you this medicine is, will this medicine heal me? Or will this medicine just help me maintain? Because we have elders right now who are taking medicine for maintenance. And medicine should not. How you doing, Hafa? Hassan? You know, you know what I'm saying? Now, we shouldn't just be doing stuff for maintenance, right? We should be looking for healing. After all these years of practice, medical practice, after all these years, you mean to tell me that these, these experts can't heal shit? You know what I'm saying? I mean, go to some of your elders' houses. They got whole shelves in their kitchen cabinet full of pills. Now, this is the choice that we have, those of us that are entering our 40s and our 50s, 30s, 40s, and 50s. This is the choice we have. Either we can start looking at different ways of living or we can start having a slow decline like our elders. Right? And only a fool falls in the same hole twice. Right? Our elders didn't know. My grandfather didn't know. My grandmother didn't know. You know what I'm saying? They thought that the, the, the medicine that they was getting for the high blood pressure was, was, was for their good. But they didn't realize that it was for the good of the medical industry. So let's get off of that, right? But the thing that came to me about the microbiome, right? For those that don't know, you need to look it up. It's the gut health, right? One of the things that came to me about that, one of the things that came to me about that is this, very simply. What if the microbiome is the ancestors? What if your ancestral line is carried through your microbiome? Because think about this. When a child is created, the microbiome is involved from the beginning to when the baby comes out and depending on how the baby come out. And if the baby comes out wrong, the child is not seated with, uh, is not seated with um, the proper probiotics. I don't speak Arabic, brother. I don't speak Arabic. All right. So if you're looking for Arabic, get off my line. All right, so now, let's go and finish this water. All right, here we go. We're about to toast the ancestors. Sorry, no ambrosia for me today, but if you got it, sip it up. Here we go. Um, call it on the creator by whatever name you choose. Call it creator. We lift up our glass and we toast the creator. We toast the, the infinite wisdom that created this universe that we exist in. We salute our, we salute our creator and we toast and we say, I say. From there, we move to our personal ancestors. We call on all those that came before us and who made their transition. 
all those who laid their life down for us to exist today. Um, we, we toast all of our personal ancestors. You know what I'm saying? We lift them up. Um, we lift our glass to our mothers and our fathers, our uncles and our aunts, our brothers and our sisters, our nieces and our nephews, who have went to the land, that, for lack of a better term, land of the dead, to a land of transition before us. And we thank them for their service in our life. We thank them for helping us become who we are. So we toast them and we say, and we say, Ashe, all right? So we call on our personal ancestors and I start with my family line. Miles Brown, Ms. Ann, Robert and Tex, Anna Davis, Herman Brown C, Rosalie Tilly, Georgia William Walton, Christopher Fanny Gasson, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris. Um, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris. Um, Margaret Ellis, Cecil Ellis, Wash Ellis, Wash Ellis Jr., Herman Brown Jr., uh, Alvira Brown, Gina Gatson. I know Gina, Gina, Gina Gaines. Mm. Montague Pitmanel, Jamon Jones, John Fillard, Elder, I think her name is Millie. Elder Millie, Elder Harrison, Elder Farmer. Elder Donaldson. Um, moving on to uh, moving on to Dr. Marianne Williams, Tony Clark, Pastor Yusuf Weston. Mm. That's all I can think of today. So we lift them up and we see our shape from there. We move on to this present moment. Today is Emoja. I wish all of you a great Emoja. Hope that you find what you're looking for on Emoja. We're looking for unity. Um, the modic principle that served today is truth. The thought of the hermetic law today is mentalism. Uh, male name is Quojo. Uh, female name is Adwo. All right. So we lift up. We toast for those things we serve that we're looking for today, and we say our shay. Now we move from there to our um, children, our children's children on inf into affinity. We toast them, and we say our shay, right? Because everything we're building is for our children. Last but not least, last but not least, we toast our. Um, we toast our children. No, I toast you. My fault. Yeah, I toast you. I toast all of y'all that's getting up and doing this with me. Shouts out to uh, Gary Lamont Hester. I just seen um, another sister was on here. Uh, just threw up some hearts. Thank you for tuning in. Um, we toast. I toast each of y'all. Any struggles that you have, any special libations that any of y'all might have, we ask that the ancestors move out in front of you and make your road easy, but not totally easy, because struggle is what makes us great. All right? So, oh, shouts out to Miss Inya. All right? All right, so we toast and we say, I shay, I shay, I shay. So now, on the show today, on the YouTube show, I'm going to be showing y'all how to make a, a, a fermented cabbage, all right? Okay, and uh, Brother Kwame says, shouts out to his brother, a special toast for you through these next few, oh, yes, dude, it's about to go down. It's, my cousin, yesterday I woke up, my energy was up, I was feeling good, by the end of the day, my back was hurt, my neck was hurt. I was sitting up here like, damn, what the hell happened? You know what I'm saying? But, you know, uh, fasting is simulated death. 
know what I'm saying? It's like practicing for death, really. You know what I'm saying? I mean, because you, you, your certain parts of your body start shutting down, but then you start feeling stuff waking it up and you start feeling stuff that you haven't felt in a long time. It's 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 a it's, 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 it's a deep process. You know what I'm saying? I'm not suggesting anybody do do the twenty one day thing. That was me. You know what I'm saying? But the whole piece is in some form of fashion we have to start incorporating fasting or allowing our body to rest and recover. Because that's basically what it is. If you don't do nothing but an intermittent fast. And one of the things that I suggested yesterday was if you don't do nothing but do an intermittent fast on your birthday or if you fast on um, um, a few days before your birthday or you fast during the solstice and the equinoxes, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to align yourself with what's going on in nature. Also, um, if you also need a reason, um, the day of the week that you was born on, you know what I'm saying? Because we got to... We got to start practicing um, bringing ourselves in tune. We got to start practicing um, purposeful suffering, right? Because, I mean, most of us just suffer because other people want us to suffer. You know what I'm saying? And really, we need to start really start putting ourselves in the, in, in, in the mind frame or putting ourselves in uncomfortable positions so that we can force ourselves to grow, right? So, force growth, right? But like I said, we're going to be working on, all week we're going to be working on different things, dealing with fermenting, right? Because when I come off the fast, I want to be able to have something to eat. And fermented foods is one of the best things, at least I believe, that, um, oh yeah, I mean that that um, that ultimate libation, that fasting, right? Right? I said, I used to tell people, I got to add a fourth one, um, I used to have... Uh, uh, a concept where I would talk about um, the three types of libations, right? Water being the lowest of them, right? You got water, you got sweat, you got blood, right? All forms of libation. Each one is a step higher than the next. Water, because we get water and we can pour, especially nowadays, water is easy. The, one of the best libations is the sweat of your brow. You know what I'm saying? That means that you're not only um, celebrating the ancestors, but what you're doing is you out working. You know what I'm saying? And then you got the blood. And I ain't talking about somebody else's blood. I'm talking about your blood. You know what I'm saying? I ain't talking about cutting yourself. I'm talking about working till you get calluses on your hand. And sometimes those of us that's been in the community, there's been certain occasions where we might nick ourselves or cut ourselves in the work that we're doing, or in some form of fashion, we get hurt. That's the ultimate libation. But then, brother Kwame brought up a whole new one: the whole, the whole sacrifice, the whole, the whole fasting piece is another form of lib libation. Brother Kwame, thanks for the share. So, but back to so tune in. We're going to talk about the health benefits of cabbage, potatoes, yams. I didn't get to the onions. I won't do the onions yet. Um, I got garlic in there. I got some other seasons and stuff. But I'll show you how to make your own fermented or pickled cabbage. Right? Very simple process. And it's real good for you because, one, it it provides you with probiotics and some other things. I'll let you come, come and watch. It'll be up hopefully by 9 a.m. this morning. All right? So I want to thank all of y'all. For tuning in. Even the brother that's asking me to speak Arabic. I don't know why they think. I, I don't know why he would think I would speak Arabic. But hey. It's a beautiful world. Alright. So. I'll catch y'all. Catch y'all later. Peace. Man. This water needs some flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Lord have mercy. <laughs>